How's it going guys? It's Derek Swain Jr. and I am your real estate guide. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel and joining me today. What I got to talk to you guys about is how to stand out as a new real estate agent. Well, shit, how do you stand out as a real estate agent, period? Because even if you've been in the game for a long time, that don't mean you, you know, you got consistent deals or whatever. But how do you stand out as a real estate agent? What I got to get into so importantly today is how you gonna stand out as a new agent is video 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 just do it I mean I, I can't explain I, I can't explain it just do it from the point that I've gotten to this business I just did it a lot of realtors don't do shit a lot of realtors don't do shit they have transaction coordinators you know, they have all these different resources to help them make it just a little bit easier. But the difference for me and all the other realtors is they ain't me. I am the actor, director, and editor of all my content. And I'm still getting showings, I'm still closing deals, and I'm still helping people in real estate. That's how you stand out. You say, hey, I'm gonna be my best. I'm not gonna compete or compare myself to nobody else. And I'm here right now and I'm gonna grind. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna be the best that I can be. My vision is here, not here, not all over the place. My vision is right here. And that's how you're gonna stand out. I, no matter what it is, I'm gonna stand out because I choose to. I'm gonna do the steps. That, that I need to stand out. Soon as I got in the game, I noticed the first thing, no realtors are taking advantage of social media. Yes, they're using Instagram, Facebook, they're doing their quick videos, they're doing the videos when they have to show us, but they're not doing this consistently. So if you wanna stand out, be different. Before I had a deal, before I had a client, before I had shit, anything in this business, I got a camera first. Before I even knew exactly what I wanted to do, I got a camera. I just said, fuck, I need a camera. I don't wanna have to pay a photographer for listings every single time. The first thing I did was get a camera. And that was the best investment that I did. Now I can do whatever the fuck I want with this camera. I can get headshots, I can get videos, I can get interviews. Whatever it is that I choose to do with my creative mind, I can do. How you stand out as a, as a real estate agent is don't do what everybody else is doing. Do what everybody else is not doing. One of the biggest things I noticed with my broker is that he takes videos very seriously. and He does it every week. You know, when I got into my YouTube thing, it's all research, 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 whatever it is that you want to do. Because the best thing about research, it's free. It's fucking free. So go get the free shit. If people are telling you the game and telling you how to do it, go do it. It's just that simple. I get so many people asking me, how do you do this, man? Oh, oh, where did you get your camera? How did you do that? Oh, how did you do this? Oh, man, I stole. How did you do that? but they never do shit. They never take action. At the end of the day, it's none of my business on why they don't take action, but I know that I do. So if you wanna stand out as a real estate agent, do what the other agents are not doing. That simple. And my brokerage for sure, I think me and my, now I'm only speaking to consistency. Yes, you can post a video on YouTube, but are you posting a video every single week? What does your content look like? What is your editing looking like? See me, I wanted the quality because I know even if I mess up, even if I stutter, I'm going to get better. But my quality is what has to come first. So even if I, at least you're getting this quality. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to do my best. The law of attraction says, whether you believe or whether you don't believe, you get it. So I said, look, I'm going to believe to achieve. That's it. No matter what you want to do, be different. And I'm not saying be different as not being yourself. Being yourself is different. So just be yourself 
and do the shit that realtors ain't doing. Cause a lot of this shit is social media. A lot of this shit is on the internet. Oh, I don't have time. I don't have time. Great. Perfect. That's, that's great for me. That's great for you. <laughs> I, I love that. I, when I'm sitting in the office doing my prospecting or doing my content or as I'm walking through the office and you hear somebody say, oh, I don't have the time. Oh, I don't have the time. Perfect. Cause I got all the time in the world to be the best person that I want to be. I got all the time in the world to get to where I want to go. And it's just as simple as that, man. I don't got these steps for you. <laughs> I don't got one. This is how you do this to stand out as a real estate agent. Just do the work. If you do the work and you do shit differently, you're going to stand out. It's just that easy. I don't even have 500 subscribers and I get people, oh man, I see you all the time on Facebook. Not even my friends. I pay for ads. I pay for marketing. I pay for a lot of shit. You just got to be different, man. You got to look and see, okay, this world too, they do that. They do this. They do the cold call. They do that. They do the door knock. They do the blah, blah, blah. And that's fine. Daddy, you can do that too. But also understand that there is a complete avenue that a lot of realtors are not taking, taking advantage of. So let me be the first to tell you, take advantage. I don't care if Chasten J. Miles has, has, you know, the Dallas area or, you know, this person is, is so popular on YouTube, which I now shout to Chase. I like Chasten J. Miles. That's one of the guys that I actually learned from becoming a YouTuber and becoming a real estate agent. Those are nothing to be afraid of. I, br I say that to say this, big YouTubers are nothing to be afraid of. Just because they've been doing it doesn't mean that you can't join in. Some people, they just want a different perspective. Some people want a newer perspective. Some people want someone that's newer in the business. So you don't know what you don't know. So create your content, stand out, do the videos, do the work, and the reward is, is just a beautiful thing. I've gotten clients from my ads, still working on getting clients from other avenues, but it's working. And I can't stress it enough because I get that question all the time. How do, how do, how do, how do, how do? I ain't never asked nobody shit. Ask, ask around. Now, let me say this, let me make it clear. When it comes to creating, when it comes to my YouTube, my videos, my content, my creativity, I haven't asked nobody shit. Now I'm gonna be honest, yes, with real estate, I needed some help. Yes, yes, I needed some help. I'm not gonna bullshit you, I'm not gonna lie to you. When it comes to this creative shit, I see it here. I see my entire career right here. But I understand right here is where I gotta do the work. In your mind, it's a beautiful thing. But at the same time, you still have to paint the image. Every painter can see what they want to put on a painting. They just have to take the time and do the work. So I say that to say how you can stand out in real estate is to be yourself and to do things differently. And right now, it's the videos. It's just that simple. Right now in this pandemic, it is the videos. Now it's been videos for a long time. It really has. But now we're all starting to get to a point to where it's almost forced. It is hard. <laughs> it is hard to get in front of people these days. So you want to have an avenue that's in front of people every day and that you don't have to be in front of. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you ring that bell. Notification every time that I upload. Take it easy.